some people don't know how to set natural hair goals. <laughs> and you're welcome to my youtube channel happy 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 new year and i believe that this is like my first official video on this channel yes guys it's my first official video so this channel is basically going to be about natural hair skincare lifestyle you know so for today's video i'm going to be talking about setting natural hair goals we all know it's a new year, like, I mean, everybody's talking about new year resolutions, goals, new year goals, and I don't know if you believe it or not, but there are definitely natural hair goals that you can set for yourself at the beginning of the year or of the month for a certain time frame. But one thing is that people always say, oh, I'm setting natural hair goals, um, this is the goal I want to achieve. Some people don't know how to set natural hair goals. So I hope that at the end of this video, you would be able to know how to set proper natural hair goals and actually achieve them at the end of the day. So if you like this video, please give this video a very big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. Basically, there are different steps on setting natural hair goals and the first step here is to identify your natural hair problem i know it feels like okay some people say oh i don't have a problem the problem can be different things like for me for example while i was setting my natural hair goals i asked myself what's the major problem that i have with my natural hair what is it that i would like to fix about my natural hair and i realized that my hair doesn't stay moisturized and i'm unable to um hold on to my moisture on my hair after my wash day and i wondered what was wrong so I figured after everything I tried to run down like the entire problem and I figured that my major problem was that sometimes I skip deep conditioning. I don't know I'm really <laughs> I'm really lazy for that reason I now put it on my list that I'm going to incorporate more deep conditioning into my routine in the new year that is basically like a natural hair goal it doesn't it's really it's that simple it's a natural hair goal another step to making a natural hair goal is identifying something you want your hair to be so for different people they have length health but one thing you really need to understand is that you should you should strive for health over length people feel that healthy hair is long hair and that is absolutely wrong absolutely like take it from me it's very wrong so one thing you need to understand is that you can have long hair yet your hair is not healthy this is something that happened to me in the year 2020 my hair was growing quite all right but my strands were not healthy they were not thick they were breaking um wasn't moisturized but i had really dry hair and then I had so much split ends that by the time I started to fix my hair, I started to think about, okay, I really want to have healthy hair. The amount of length I had left was about half of the original length I thought I had, which is why in 2021, because I was trying to make sure I had healthy hair, it was like I wasn't retaining any length because I was getting rid of a lot of my damaged hair. And don't compare yourself with other people one thing you need to understand is that you're not the same with every with anyone and um your goals cannot be the same as well the achieving your goals also would not occur at the same time frame so if um my goal was to grow two inches in 2022 and i achieved that within three months and for you it's taking six months Please do not put pressure on yourself. My dear, I'm talking from like experience. I told myself that 
by my sixth year, I'm supposed to have waist length natural. <laughs> it sounds so funny, but that's actually something I told myself. But I realized that this wasn't something that was achievable because, first of all, for the first, will I say, four years of keeping my natural hair, I never used to care for it. It's just good genes that kept it. And by the time I started to aim for healthy hair, I had to get rid of more than half of my entire length. So it was almost like starting over. But I'm not comparing myself to other people that have the same time frame and have longer hair because it's my hair, it's my body. It's something that will stick with me till like the very end, except I get ready to Things will literally help you to outline all of this so how do you achieve it first of all you have to set realistic goals yeah I said it realistic goals. somebody can set um, a goal of oh I have six inches of natural hair right now and before the end of 2022 I want to have 25 inches my dear you will cry Tears will flow at the end of the year because you definitely will not grow from 6 inches to 25 inches in one year. Sweetheart, that's not how it works, okay? So, you have to set realistic goals and they can be long-term goals, they can be short-term goals. And that is why it is very, very important for you to have a natural hair journal. Ask yourself, okay, what do I want to do? How do I want to do it? So, with all, with all these things, setting a realistic goal will help you achieve your natural hair goals properly. So, you shouldn't be setting goals like moving from 6 inches to 25 inches in one year. My dear, you know go work. It won't work. So, focus on setting realistic goals. After setting realistic goals, the second thing you need to do is outline the steps to achieving these goals. Let me give you an example. If I want to have really moisturized hair in 2022, I have to know that I will take deep conditioning, very important. I would maximize my wash day and make sure that my hair gets as much water as possible. And I would remember to re-moisturize a certain amount of times in the week. So these things, you have to set like, okay, these are the things I need to do. So how do you do that? You create a regimen that is the third thing you will do to achieve your goals you have already outlined the things you need to do to make sure that you achieve that goal so you now have to create a regimen so you're telling yourself okay if i wash my hair on saturday on monday i need to re-moisturize my hair on wednesday after that i need to re-moisturize my hair on friday after that i need to re-moisturize my hair every night before i sleep i would protect my hair with a satin bonnet or a silk scarf, a satin scarf, whatever, I would sleep on a silk pillow case or a satin pillow case. These are things that you would add on to your regimen and you would make sure that you remember them. And lastly, in setting your natural hair goals in 2022, do not put pressure on yourself. Love your natural hair. It's very important for you to love your natural hair. When you treat your natural hair with love, I feel I I honestly feel like my hair is a person. I named my hair Freya. So I feel like my hair is a person. And if I think about certain things like that I do to my hair, I make sure that it's not something I would not want to do to a person. Yeah, so for that reason, I make sure that I'm not damaging my hair because that's like I'm killing my hair. So I don't use heat on my hair at all because I know that my hair is going to frown at it and she's going to be upset with me and then she'll start to act up and you don't want that. When you have a friend and you know that this is something your friend doesn't like, you won't do it because if you do it, she's going to start to give you attitude. So that's the same thing with your natural hair. You need to do what your natural hair wants, which is what also brings me to the fact that what your hair wants cannot be the same with what other people's hair wants. That's the truth. I hope 
that with these few points of mine, I've been able to explain to you in very simple terms how to set natural hair goals in 2022. And I pray that God is going to help us to achieve our goals in 2022. Thank you very much for sticking with me to the end of this video. If you would like any type of video, any tutorial, any teaching, lesson, whatever, on natural hair, or if you have any questions, please state them in the comment section. Please like this video and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye, guys.